morning, day two. Roxy, all loaded, ready to go. Readjusted panniers this morning because I wasn't uh, entirely happy. There was a lot of weight in the top box, too much actually, so um, I've moved that weight further down. Um, the hand, it didn't affect the handling yesterday at all. That bike, uh, it, just, it just handles so sweetly. Even fully loaded, um, it handled absolutely perfectly yesterday. So looking forward to a full day today. So it's five and a half hours um, to go from here down to the bottom where we joined uh, the uh, Northumberland, I keep wanting to say uh, North Coast 500. So we go down to uh, where we joined it yesterday uh, and then start heading back north. So we go up towards Kielder Water. Uh, we can't do the forest drive because it's not open. I double checked last night, that's not open, which is a real pity. And I didn't know um, that, I, I didn't know that it was gonna be closed. When I booked this, I didn't know that it didn't open until May the 1st. So bear that in mind, it's only open on May the 1st. Uh, and then it runs throughout the year. I forget when it closes, but I wasn't interested in that anyway. So uh, yeah, let's get out there. I'll see you out there on the road, guys. Um, exciting. Right, so I know I, I know I told you this yesterday, but this app that I'm using, this is a scenic app. Uh, I really like it. I, I do tend to use it on uh, pre-plotted, pre-planned routes um, because it's just easy to do. It's easy to plot your route. But I would say to you, when you've done it, zoom in and make sure it's not doing anything silly like sending you on some weird detour you know around a village just to come back out onto the main road or anything daft like that uh, just make sure that uh, where it's taking you is correct but it is perfect I did message the guy whose app it is Guido his name is uh, because what it hasn't got on it at the moment are fuel stops so you can't search along your route uh, to find fuel stops but he did say that uh, he's writing the program now, he's writing the code for a major upgrade to the app later on in the year. He's that accessible, right? uh, we exchanged a few emails last night. Um, and I'm gonna be on the beta testing group for that, so whoopee do. So I will be on the beta testing group because I really like the app. It did have its problems when it first came out. If you watch Andy Mancamp, he had a bit of a mare in Germany with it because it cocked his ride, kept cocking his rider. Uh, but the safest way to use any app, you know, routing app, is if you make sure that you put all your, your waypoints in yourself and you know exactly where you're going and then you zoom in and check it as well. Just zoom in and make sure that it's correct. Nice old bridge. Oh, lovely little river. Look at that. Morning. Everybody's smiley. Everybody's smiley. It's lovely. It's a lovely out. Mind you, yeah, if, if I lived up here, then I'd be smiling all the time because of uh, 
you know, what you're looking at. Look at what you're looking at. Isn't it lovely? Look at that though. It just, it, it's, you know, you know you're close to Scotland when you're looking at scenery like that. Puts me in mind of uh, just east of the Cairngorms. I'm in fifth. <laughs> I'm in fifth, fully loaded, going up hills and stuff. But um, the bike is just uncomplainingly getting on with it. I'll start riding you a bit, a bit more sympathetically, Roxy. <laughs> Soon. Uh, not now, obviously. But I will. You deserve it, girl. I can't, it, it's very difficult to tell that you've actually got the luggage on. Honestly, it weighs a ton, this stuff, and uh, it just gets on with it. So much, so much easier than with the Africa Twin. I, I did love it, but I wish I'd gone for the electronic suspension on that. You know the self-leveling, uh, automatic preload, all that, all that business. Because uh, the normal suspension is just so bouncy. But the, you know that's what it's designed for, isn't it? The off-road stuff. Proper chilly. It's seven degrees, but it does feel proper chilly. It's not. It doesn't feel quite as chilly as yesterday morning. But I've left my liners in my suit. So I'm probably going to be sweating my rocks off later, but um, you know the choice is being really cold on the bike, and I didn't want that. I've not got the heated grips on, but I have got my winter winter gloves back on again. Oh, this countryside is delicious. D bloody delicious. Talking of delicious, nice curry last night. Well. I didn't exactly have a curry, I had a tandoori mixed grill, but uh, yeah, that was very nice. Nice little Indian restaurant. The Sathi, I think I went into. There's, there's a few, there's uh, three or four restaurants, all get good reviews from what I could see. Sathi was uh, in the middle of the reviewage, but uh, it was very good. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, so I think this is Alan, yeah, it is Alan Heads. So this is where we started 
So all this from now on is virgin territory. Sparty Lee. What a great name. Sounds like a porn star. Not much to show Achieving every stew And a hell of a lover A damn good brother And I wear my heart on my sleeve For what I believe Sorry about the singing Much to you But it does to me It is to me it Might not mean much to you But it does to me. It is a bit cloudier this morning, but I just think it adds to the drama of the scenery. <clears throat> it, it's, you know, it's beautiful when, when the sun's out and it's wall-to-wall -wall blue skies almost, but I just think that when there's a bit of cloud there, the drama in the scene just increases. It definitely looks brighter over there, doesn't it? It's like we're getting to the edge of the cloud up there. Ooh, bit of sun, bit of sun, just copped a bit then. Bit of sunshine, it's getting brighter. 8.51. Sound like a DJ. 8.51 and let's play the next one from Adele. I know what I would like on the dashboard because I like having the fuel, uh, my fuel on there, how much you've got in your tank at any given moment. I just like keeping an eye on that, but I would like to see uh, uh, the uh, trip clock, maybe down at the bottom there, you know, they've got space to put it there, it would be nice to just see your trip, your daily miles without having to scroll. I know, you know, first world problems, but that's the sort of drama I was talking about. Look at that. A patchwork of fields, woods, clouds, sunshine. Just stunning, isn't it? What's that bird there? Look. There's a few of those. They're the ones I saw earlier. I think they're snipe. Field. I'll try and remember to keep telling you where we are because um, you might find it helpful when planning your ride. If you're too, if you're too tight to buy the map. And before you ask, no, I'm not going to send you the GPX files. moment there, a wee bit of a moment. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't what I wanted at all. We are in the sunshiny bit. Whoopie doo. Happy days. Happy, happy days. So the drone is definitely buggered. It is not communicating properly with the, f the uh, so it's not sending signals. Um, image signals to the phone correctly and it keeps saying that the uh, the gimbal is disconnected anybody else ever had that problem anybody out there know how to repair it know how to affect a repair on that I mean it didn't help that it fell over a hundred feet <laughs> when I was in Lincolnshire to do the damage to it I mean that's obviously what's caused the issue but is there anybody out there that knows how to fix it so yeah, anyway, if, if there's anybody out there who knows how to uh, repair DJI Mavic Pro, uh, Mavic 2, I think it is, drone, please get in touch.
Bloody hell, that's sharp. <laughs> that is sharp. Wowza. Oh wow, that's a roller coaster. Wow, that wind is really picking up now. That's a hell of a bridge. That's a hell of a wee bridge, that. Scottish. We are coming up towards the borders. Well, we are argu arguably in the borders, but Jesus, that's a bit rough. Ooh, Christ. Flapping packets one day. Romans came this way, don't you? <laughs> How straight that is. I don't envy you. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? What a countryside this is. So look, I, I posted this as um, a reset ride, one of the reset rides. If you've got no one to come with to do a ride like this, what's wrong with, you know, just coming and doing it on your own? I'm on my own. You know, when I do the Scotland rides, when I did the Land's End John O'Groats ride, I, did, I just did them on my own because I didn't have anybody who rode bikes at the time. You don't need people with you and especially if you want to do this as a reset ride, something to, you know, reset your mind, help with your mental health, help with your anxiety, um, do it on your own because 
you need to if you're if you're struggling with anxiety if you're struggling with depression and I, I've struggled with both not so much nowadays I don't drink anymore and that that has really helped uh, but if you are struggling with anxiety and depression and, and believe me I do have uh, you know a real issue going on at the moment you know professional thing um, So yeah, I, I do have a, a real thing going on at the moment, something that, you know, it's a professional issue um, that I'm working through and it's hard, it's incredibly hard and this has come, I would say this has come at the right time for me to just get my brain back in order, to organise my thoughts and uh, just, just bring it down a bit, just bring it down a bit. Bring it down into something that I can manage. Just to help me get back on track. It's difficult, life's difficult at times. But you can do things to help you out, help yourself out. Don't trust anybody else, don't, don't you know, you can go to counselling services and all the rest of it, and I know they're helpful for certain problems, but for the whole day to day, just uh, do it yourself. Do things to help yourself as well. You can do this on a budget. You know, two nights is not that expensive, really. I'll post up uh, what it cost for the two nights away um, and the fuel and everything. Uh, and, and you can, you know, you can decide that, you know, come up just for one night, make it two long days in the saddle. Uh, I'm sure you could do it in two days. It's just nicer and more relaxed if you do a reset ride, you know, over a period of time that is going to help you enjoy it rather than trying to rush through things. Um, but yeah, reset rides. Reset Rides, the Northumberland 250, comes highly recommended by me. Let's get back on the road and we'll uh, explore some more of this beautiful, beautiful county. So this uh, route that we're on now, this is the alternative route to the Kiel de Forest Drive, which we can't do because it's closed. It doesn't open until May the 1st, so bear that in mind, folks. Don't shout at me, so it was shut when you came. You've been warned. You've been warned, haven't you? I've warned you before about that. This is what happens when I'm on my own for too long. I love it. I love being on my own like this. It's just fabulous. It's just one of the best feelings. I'm so glad I've done, I've done this. Scottish borders! We're in the Scottish borders! We're in Scotland! Oh god, this holiday. This holiday. This two, two nights away. <laughs> Still a holiday. I'm counting it as that. But the last time I went away on my own was the year before that, when I went to Scotland. I need to do that again as well. I do, I do, I do.
road up there. Staggeringly beautiful countryside, awesome roads. Man, you've got to come and do the Northumberland 250. It's fabulous. Absolutely the time of my life up here. Just what no doctor ordered. But you know, this as consolation for not doing the Kielder, uh, the Kielder ride through the forest. This is not bad, you know. <laughs> oh God, a few. Oh, I need somewhere to stop. I need somewhere to stop. Oh, bollocks, I'm gonna stop there. If, if you were on a road bike, you wouldn't want to do the uh, Kiel de Forest ride anyway, would you? Um, but th the alternative <laughs> is mightily impressive as roads go. Very impressive. I mean, we're back on to two-way now. The main carriage, main A road type carriageway or B road or whatever it is, but... No, it is an A road. A6088. But even so, it's still pretty good. Still got another eight minutes before we get to um two stroke. Still got another eight minutes till we get to uh our turn according to that. Well, so when we get to the A68, that's when I need to sat nav again. Jesus, look at that for a view. Oh Christ. It's just fabulous. Absolutely bloody fabuloso. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at that. First bit of rain we've had, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Not really. Actually. First bit of rain we've had. Ooh, bloody hell. How sharp that is. Imagine living around here. So remote. Remote in UK 
UK standards. So I know there's, you know, there are remote places in the world and England doesn't have any of them. But as far as uh, the UK is concerned, this does feel remote. I mean, if I had a breakdown now, I'm guessing there's no mobile signal. Completely kiboshed. This is uh, probably the most technical bit of riding today. I wouldn't say any of the rest of it has been particularly technical, particularly challenging. So, well, I, you know, I, I don't know what people like to ride on, but straight after passing your test or something, would this be a suitable route to do? Possibly. It depends on your confidence and your ability with the bike. I mean, if you feel confident that you could deal with um, what you've seen, then do it. Would I do it? Well, uh, <laughs> when I passed my test, I did the North Coast 500. That was the first thing I did. Same year. Literally just a few months after passing my test. Big ball there, look. I'm concerned. In a field of his own, that boy. Doesn't mean he hasn't got any uh, buddies. So I just pulled over, have something to eat. Um, I was getting a bit tired on the bike actually. I've been going for quite a few hours now. Um, it's about one more hour to go before we get to Berwick. So I've got loads of time. I don't even know what time of day it is actually. Um, I'll tell you when we get back on the bike. But I've just been stood here, listening to the wind in the trees and the birds. And there's been well, there's been one actually, there's been one camper van came by me about 10 minutes ago. That's it. That's the only thing that's come, come by me on this lane. It is so quiet. It's fabulous. I mean, the riding, you must, you will have seen in the video by now, the riding and the conditions and what it's like up here. It's just amazing. I, ca I can't tell you, you know, it, the GoPro never gives you like a full accurate picture of, of what, what it actually looks like here. When you're actually here, when you're actually standing in it, when you're riding in it, uh, it's just mind blowing. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And I, I would recommend it to any of you. Get your asses up here. If you've, if you've not got anything planned for this year, you know, if you can only afford a couple of nights away, I mean, I'm staying, I've stayed at Travelodge last night and I'm staying at Premier Inn tonight and I'll put the prices up, let you know how much each one was. Um, but they weren't expensive. I think it's 70, 65 and 75, something like that. Uh, not, not overly expensive. So, you know, you can afford a couple of nights away, treat yourself. Um, and also, 
if you've got no one to come with, just come on your own. Come on your own. It's just brilliant. It, just hitting that reset button, getting to know yourself. Brilliant. Can't recommend it highly enough. Right, I'm going to shut up waffling, get back on the bike, and we're, like I say, about an hour away from Berwick upon Tweed, so uh, we'll head up there, have a mooch around the town, see what's happening. See you in a bit. It is cold though. 11 degrees, but man, does it feel cold. Easterly chill. And most of this dry now, because uh, tomorrow's not going to be dry. But, but you know, it's, it's been great. <laughs> it's been so good. Had a little bit of rain earlier, but really it's uh, not that bad. I think, so yesterday, today and tomorrow is just about enough time to do the route and you know give yourself time to take photos and stuff like that. You know it's quite a few times today I've done U-turns and gone back for photos simply because you can afford the time. I think, well, you would struggle to do it in two days, really. I mean, you could do the, the route without, without an issue. You'd probably do it in a day if you wanted to. But you're not going to... Um, I don't think you're going to appreciate it as much. Because you'd just be blasting around just trying to get the mileage done. And see the enjoyment in that. Unless that's your thing, if that's the way you derive your enjoyment and pleasure. Get it in here. I think I'm going to give Roxy a bit of a treat and go for the good stuff. Have some E5 because Roxy has just performed. Twenty quid. No, oh, twenty-five quid. It's not bad at all, is it? What a fantastic day's riding again. That's two days of utter bliss. First time to Berwick, I think. Really quite fancy steak and chips tonight. 
Anybody else think Chisholm when you see Chisholm? Town centres are depressing affairs nowadays, aren't they? All the wasted architecture on the same shitty shops wherever you go. Could be so nice, but they're just filled with the same scuzzy bloody dumps. Every bloody... every town you go to. You could be in any one of them, anywhere in the UK. The shops that you get in them, they're all the bloody same. Berwick's a nice place. Apart from the shops, Kinto Ah, there it is. Oh, the end here. 